There are hundreds of car accidents in Colorado where police officers are at fault. Unlike the rest of us, many cops never go to court. Call 7 investigator John Perugia finding out that it means they keep their driving histories out of state motor vehicle records and away from victims. That's right, Mike. We all know that police find themselves in harrowing driving situations with lights flashing and sirens wailing. Well, we're not talking about that. We're talking about preventable accidents where just like you or me, a driver makes a mistake. Our investigation has found officers with as many as 10 at-fault accidents still behind the wheel. An officer on patrol in Greenwood Village, distracted by a radio call. I'm involved. I'm involved. His turn into oncoming traffic resulted in significant damage. He went to court where he received a fine of more than $80 and three points on his driving record. The rule for officers involved in at-fault accidents in Douglas County is the same. I literally was like this and went like that and then hit the car. Boom. Yeah. Under Sheriff Tony Spurlock was on duty. Unfortunately, it was a Lexus <laughs> and, uh, you know, the taillights and the bumpers hit up just right. It cost more than $1,000 to fix and he was at fault for rear-ending another car. And like any civilian, he got a ticket and ended up before a judge. It cost me $116 of my own money and uh, two points on my driving privilege. But it was a much different story in Denver when a police officer ran a stop sign and T-boned Richard Cusk's SUV. Both vehicles were heavily damaged. Did you go to court with the officer? No, never, never went to court uh, with the officer. I don't know. I've never, I've never had any contact with him. The same was true in this Denver case where a DPD cop wasn't paying attention and slammed into the side of Wendy Dyson's car. And he had evidently um, caught somebody speeding and went to pull out and hit my passenger front end. Our investigation has found that in the last three years, Denver police have had more than 300 at-fault accidents and no officer has gone to court. That's because, like several other police agencies in the state, including Aurora, Lakewood, and Golden, just to name a few, DPD only handles the issue internally. No ticket is issued and no accident or discipline shows up on motor vehicle records. It's shocking. It's, it's disappointing, disturbing. Just like I'm saying, I wanted someone to show some accountability for what happened to me. But what may be even more disturbing is that the veteran Denver officer who hit Wendy Dyson had an accident record going back more than 25 years. If I told you that this officer, since he'd been with the department, yours was the 10th preventable accident that he had. Wow, 10. Wow. But she didn't know that because the officer's driving history isn't in motor vehicle or court records. And why is that important? To see whether there was any uh, uh, potential for an unreasonable uh, action on the part of the employer in negligently entrusting that vehicle. Lawyer Kyle Backus handles personal injury cases. He says by not going to court, police departments can avoid liability. If they're doing that off-grid, then as a citizen, a private citizen, you have now a limited ability to really discern whether that police officer should or shouldn't have been on the road. The Denver Police Department does have an elaborate disciplinary system. In fact, officers can receive severe penalties. But it all happens behind these walls, outside of court, away from public view. We repeatedly asked Denver Police Chief Robert White to discuss this important public policy question. He refused, instead sending out a department PR person. Does the chief believe that officers should be treated differently, as they are now, than citizens and not get tickets and not go to court? This is a policy, we don't know the answer to that yet, John, because we are in the process of evaluating whether or not the current system is a good fit for Denver or whether or not it's a bad fit for Denver. But he could not say when the review started, when it will end, or who's assigned to carry it out. Our investigation found no police agency critical of another, but some, like Tony Spurlock, spoke to why they do it differently. Law enforcement should be treated uh, just like everyone else. Your record shows up in Department of Motor Vehicle, so why wouldn't mine? Um, that's fair. Now, our investigation found no specific review of policy regarding at-fault accidents for the Denver Police Department. When we pressed the department asking for documents, research, or directives concerning the review, or even a specific person charged with the review, the department had none. It could only send us this PowerPoint slide of a general plan to revise the entire police operations manual sometime in the future. So for now, if you want to find out if a Denver officer is a bad driver, you'll have to ask for internal police records. And the same is true in many other jurisdictions. In the newsroom, I'm John Ferrugia, 7 News.